Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat if I'm visible as well as equally audible? Then we would start right away. Okay. Till then, let me just turn on my preview screen. Okay, fair enough. So I am fair. Just let me see. Hi and welcome to Can I have a quick plus one? Okay, I'm fairly visible as well as equally audible. Still, if you have any problems regarding the audio or something, just let me know. Okay, today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day. that is binary heap operation this problem appeared in amazon ola cabs and four more companies so this is a very important problem and this is a easy problem if you know binary trees okay but if you don't know binary trees then this is not a easy problem this would be a medium level problem okay fair enough now the success percentage of this problem is 32% now let us move to the next slide okay now let us understand the problem statement what we are told to do now what is a binary heap a binary heap is a binary tree with the following properties it is a complete tree what do i mean by complete all levels are completely filled except possibly the last level and the last level has all keys as left as passive possible okay so it means that every level is fulfilled this property of binary heap makes them suitable to be stored in an array so this means that the parent would be stored in i and the left child would be stored in i in multiplied with 2 and the right child would be i multiplied by 2 plus 1 this is where the both of them would be kept fair enough yeah okay so let's move forward a binary heap is either a mean heap or a max heap what do i mean by mean heap or max heap a binary mean heap means that the minimum element would be kept at the top or which be at the tail okay suppose we have 7 10 okay 3 1 so in this if this is a mean heap this would be like this okay 1 3 7 and 10 now this is what this is a mean heap okay now talking about if this would be a max heap just the opposite of it 10 7 3 1 okay this would be how it would be kept if this is a mean heap or this is a max heap fair enough let's move forward with this Okay. Okay. You are given an empty binary heap. Initially, it would be empty. Okay. And some queries and your task is to implement three methods. What are the three methods? The methods are insertion, deletion, and extraction of the minimum. And this extraction of the minimum means that removes the minimum element from the min heap and pre print it. so the order should be different that we should first print the minimum element then we should remove it fair enough now the thing is okay so you are given a binary tree and what do i mean by 1 x okay this type of query means insert an element in the min heap with the value x 1 x means we need to insert that element with the value x 2x means we need to remove the element at position x okay so insertion is done by value okay please remember this insertion is done by value okay and deletion deletion is done by sorry
deletion is done by position. Okay, and this is where it would remove the top element. Okay, fair enough. Now let's move forward and see how we can solve this. But before solving this, let us solve the sample test cases. Okay, to solve the sample test cases, first we have. Let's just see. And okay. So let me just refresh the screen. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to insert the key four. So first it would have the four. Then we have two. As this is a min heap, it is already mentioned that this is a binary min heap. So this two would be kept at this position. And then there is extraction of min heap. So we need to print this two. and we need to remove this two so we would remove all of these and we would say that we have only four at the moment and two is being printed then we need to again insert six six would be inserted here okay then we again delete the zeroth okay zeroth key so this means that this would be removed so we can say that six would be removed okay and then extraction of minimum that is what 6 and then minus 1 because there are no okay let me just show you again suppose what what was there is that okay because i i have messed it up a little bit so first we would insert the key 2 4 then we again insert 2 as this is a min heap minimum element would be in the front that is it would be placed before it and then we need to extract this minimum extraction means what take out that minimum and print it and then remove it so take out that minimum print it and then remove it fair enough now we need to again insert 6 6 is greater than 4 so we would just write 6 here then we need to delete the key at the position 0 so we would be removing this because this is the zeroth position so i would be removing this okay then we need to extract the minimum so we would this is the minimum we would be writing it and we would be removing it now there is nothing we are again trying to extract the minimum and we are told that if there is nothing we should print minus 1 that is why the third output is minus 1 okay fair enough i messed it up a little bit on the last try but still if you face any difficulty let me know okay i would be waiting for just 1 minute to see if the doubts are clear or not and then i would be moving forward not 1 minute just 30 seconds okay let's just see okay fair enough so we have successfully waited for 30 seconds now let us move how we can solve this problem first requires the problem of insertion okay how to insert the element okay to insert the element let us first see how the elements are kept okay so in a binary tree if it is a min heap okay if it is a min heap then the parent okay suppose this is the parent child this is the left child this is the right child then this parent would be less than the right child and the parent would be less than the left child also okay so now suppose if i ins want to insert any element okay if it is empty we would directly insert it at the first position only there is no problem but if it is not empty then we would be moving forward and we would be assigning it to whichever place okay so we would be checking if this is greater or not and we would be assigning it so 
we have a heap size so if we insert the element it would increase the size and we would first go and assign the last index the value we have okay and we would keep swapping that value okay keep swapping that value and we would take out this parent and this is already given that we can use this parent in the structure only okay in the structure it is given that we have a heap size and we have a voice is not clear Okay, I think the voice should be clear. Okay. Okay, the voice should be clear by now. So just let me know, coding mind, if this voice is clear or not. Okay. Fair. Okay. Fair enough. Let's move forward. Or. Okay. I think the voice should be clear. Okay. Yeah, the voice is clear now. Okay, fair enough. So, coding mind just clear it. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take out this parent and we are just swapping it with the given parent. Okay, and we keep doing it till we reach the very front. Okay, or if i is not equal to 0. Okay, and then we move. Okay, so let do, let's do the dry run too. What are we doing here? Okay, so let me first remove the annotations and then we can do the dry run. Okay. Okay, now what we are doing is we are first going to the end of the array. Okay, suppose this there is an array this like this. Okay. And this would be like this 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we would be first going to this place and then we would be assigning the value. Suppose k is equals to 5. We would be assigning this and then i is not equal to 0. This is not equal to 0. So what we would be doing is the parent of this if it is greater than this element okay but the parent should be small as I told. If the parent is greater okay parent should be small see this parent should be small than both if the parent is greater then what we are doing is we are swapping the parent and that element okay and then we are making that as the parent okay and then we are again moving forward again making that as the parent and parent now parents parent is checked now parents parent is checked we keep on checking till i is not equal to zero fair enough now let's move forward with the second one delete key is very simple but we would first see the extraction of minimum and then we would find this delete key okay so extraction of minimum is that if the heap size is less than zero that it doesn't contain any element then we would return minus one if it contains only one element we would return it and we would subtract the size because at the end we are just decreasing the size to after returning and then if that is not the case that has it has elements more than one okay so i would just write elements more than one so if the number of elements is more than one then the first element okay is equals to the last element and the last element would be made to zero and we are decreasing it and then what we are doing is we are calling the min heapify which is already implemented so i won't be talking about that because it is already told and written okay now let's talk about the delete key delete key is that if it is less than the heap size that is suppose we are trying to delete the position 5 but we have only three elements and that is not possible so if it is within the boundary so what we can do is we can assign okay assign this value with this value and then what we can do is we can extract the minimum value now the minimum value would be what this minimum value would be int men only so we would be extracting this okay so i hope this is clear still i would wait for the next 30 seconds if this is not clear let me know
okay so i would be waiting for the next 1 minute if i don't get any doubts i would be turning off the session Okay so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day stay safe and happy new year in advance okay